Okay. Um, so last time we left off with um, we were talking about mobile IP. And let's just do a quick review of how packets are delivered, just to remind ourselves. So remember our picture. So we have some corresponding node out here. That's just a host that's connected to the internet. It's connected to some router. Attached to the internet. Um, or which handles its routing to the internet. I guess you could say everything is attached to the internet. Um, over here, we have a home agent, which is attached to a home network. The home agent, remember, is the device that takes care of our permanent IP address. So wherever we roam on the internet, um, the, uh, the home agent will take care of, um, uh, will we'll, we'll, we'll keep track of packets that are being passed to us and will forward them to whatever our, our current location is. Our current location is governed by what's called the foreign agent. Draw that a little bigger. Which is a member of the foreign network. And it's the foreign network in which we, the mobile node, currently find ourselves. So in order for a packet to find its way from the corresponding node to us, that packet is initially addressed to the home agent. The home agent keeps our, uh, what we call the home network address, that's our permanent IP address, and also uh, maintains a table that, uh, that determines uh, where exactly we are in the internet as far as routing is concerned. Uh, so it then forwards that packet through the internet onto the, onto the foreign agent, and the foreign agent forwards it to us. So here's the process. The packet starts out at the corresponding node and it's destined for the permanent IP address associated with us, which is the home network address. is that the home agent, the HA, uh, intercepts this packet and looks up the corresponding entry. Location registry will say um, this node, this mobile node associated with that permanent address, is actually over here associated with this foreign agent. So forward your packets to that foreign agent. So the home agent then repackages. Second, with my dynamic topologically correct address as, as the destination. And what was what did we call that address? Do you remember? The COA, the care of address. A 
as the destination. And then finally, uh, the foreign agent receives the packet and de-encapsulates it. So in other words, you put a new IP wrapper around the original packet, so the foreign agent unwraps that, determines that it's actually destined for us, as far as the original destination uh, field is concerned, and then forwards it. Here, the mobile node. So the way this works, as far as this encapsulation step, and this will be figure one, so the encapsulation takes place at the home agent, so the home agent basically takes this packet, so it's like the home agent receives a parcel with a certain address on it and puts it in a bigger box with a different address on it. So it just takes the whole thing, address and all, and throws it in a bigger box, and it looks like this. An IP packet, an IP packet actually contains all, all kinds of um, uh, control flags and whatnot, but for our purposes, let's just think of this as the source, source field, destination field, data. So this is what the home agent receives. Um, so in this example, what would the source address be? Yes? The uh, CN. The CN. So that's right. The CN is sending a packet to us. So the CN is the source. And what would the destination be? The HNA, the home network address. So in other words, the CN, remember, only cares about our permanent address. The CN does not want to worry about the fact that we're moving around and changing our IP address during this session. So the HA will then repackage and then this whole thing becomes data in the new package. So again, it's just like I took this box and I put it in a bigger box. So that's the data field of a new um, IP packet. This IP packet itself has a source and a destination field. So from the HA, what's the source field? It's just the HA, right. And what's the destination field? Okay, so we've, um, you can call it, uh, the way we've done this, and this is not the only way to do this, but it's uh, the way that uh, I'm describing to you for clarity, is that the COA is, uh, is also the IP address of the FA.